Hey guys, welcome back to Closet MTG. And today, guys, we're cracking a full Streets of Cabana set booster box. We're going to keep track of how many Triumphs we get, how many Mythics. Can we get Obnixilis? Seen, I watched a lot of openings. Know a good amount about this set so far, but have not played a lot with it. I did one pre release. Ooh, we do get, we do get this box topper card, this Gala's Greeters Elf Druid. Very cool. Extended art that was literally taped on to this. I guess it talks about the different houses or so forth. Got 30 packs here, guys. 30 pack set box. How many triumphs will we get? Can we get the Chase Mythics? Let's see. Here we go, guys. It's been a bit since I've opened up a product, so I'm excited to see what's in the store here. I get those gilded foils, guys. Holy hell, they've looked beautiful. Okay. Look at that artwork. Very nice. They're absolutely stunning on another YouTube channel, so I'm very excited to see them in person. Hopefully, we pull a few of those today. Um, aside from that, though, guys, we're just going to, yeah, have some fun. See how many keep track of our rares, our alternate art cards. So we got our first rare, and we got right off the bat. Damn, is this a gilded foil? I think it is. Look at that. Damn, that is gorgeous. Obscura Charm. I think that's a gilded foil. I'm not sure. Um, I mean, it's got the gilded thing, and it's a foil, so I assume it's gilded foil. But anyway, we'll, <clears throat> we'll keep that off to the side. And we got a uh, regular token. So a Mythics here, rares here. Potential gilded foil here. <laughs> Maybe gilded foils here. Regular regular foils there. Very cool though, guys. Here it's pretty rare to get the gilded foils. God, I love these new these new uh lands. Here it's pretty rare to get a bunch of gilded foils in a uh collector box. I mean a set box, as opposed to the collector box. I think you typically get what, like five or six? gilded foils and a collector and well at least that's what i've read well damn is this another gilded foil holy crap i gotta be wrong these these can't be the gilded foils someone correct me on that well, maybe they are i mean i'm not sure but that's two and two packs that's pretty crazy um i can definitely see some bend on them already though hopefully that doesn't trend that continue that will suck it's like commander legends all over again or Zendikar, freaking Zendikar Rising, my god. It's those foil lands, they're still curled. It's crazy. Anyways, so we got our land, guys. We're gonna fly through this. No, we also have the list slot. I forgot, we do have the list slot in this product, which is pretty cool. Okay, structure, assaults, and okay, regular foil. And we got a exquisite blood. Wow, that's a bomb hit slot. Very cool. Very cool, exquisite blood for our list slot. That's definitely a hit, guys. Awesome. Nice $30 card right there. We got a regular foil. So now we know what the regular foils look like. We're gonna put our gilded cards here. Foil gilded. Mythics here, rares here. List here, we got the whole system in perfect order. Here we go, guys. We got some, I have tokens in draft packs now. Very cool, or set, set packs. Very cool. Maybe create a little bit more space for our piles. We got our lands, we got our commons, uncommons, we got the arc splitter. Okay, alternate art. Void Ren, very cool. A little vindicate action. Damn, triumphs, forgot about the triumphs. We're gonna definitely have to have a, lot, a slot for the triumphs. Okay, so the way we're gonna do this, we're gonna move these down and we're gonna make sure we have a triumph slot right before the rares. Foil mythic triumph, that's so cool. How many triumphs can we get, babe? Wait a second, that's not a triumph. Oh my God, I just had a senior moment. Holy hell, not a triumph. Sorry about that, guys. Regular rare, what am I, I was like so excited for, to pull a triumph, or tri land, you wanna call it. But wait a second, Skybridge Tower is not a triumph. Like I'm reading the ability. Now they do have some different, okay. Some different mechanics with the, uh, or at least different like common lands, or uncommon lands, I guess you could call it. Or these are common lands um, in this set. Okay, we got our uncommons. Okay, so we got our, definitely we'll still keep the triumph slot once we actually pull one, guys. 
Waterfront District, again, not to be confused with the Triome. Okay, we got another Gilded. This is a common. We got a Gilded and we got the Ledger, Ledger Shredder. Very cool. Definitely not like the accounting practice. We got our foil and that's it. Wow. Come on, how many Triomes will we get? How many lists? I feel like with with every set product or set box, they, it's like they're, they they do something different. They add, those lands are so cool. It's like they add something. It's like now you have the Triomes or the rare land cycle or the list or secret lair. Or, it's like you can, it's gonna get to the point where it's like there's so many different cards you can pull. God, these are, they all really look so good on those too. A lot of charms. We're getting all the charms today. There we go. There's our first triumph, an actual triumph or triland. Rafine's Tower. That's one. And we got another, not to be not, not to be confused with the triumph, another foil common land. Rafine's Tower, a little Esper triumph. Absolutely love that. And, God, look at that artwork. That's so cool. God, even the lands, like the regular lands are sweet or look cool. So the artwork in the recent sets, although it's definitely taken a hit. Okay, we got Ginny Faye. It's been definitely good, in my opinion. Definitely solid, the artwork. Um, especially like the, the lands. Even like the Crimson Bow and Midnight Hunt. I was, I'm still a fan of those lands. I mean, granted, the, the sets may not be doing too well financially, but... More charms. We're getting all the charms in the world. We got the Brokos, Broker's Charm. We got a regular ring and Maestro's Ascendancy, followed by a foil graveyard shift. Very cool. All right. So almost a third of the way into this, guys. Got more tokens there. But we get a stamped card. Let's see. We got our land. We got our commons. Got a variation on commons and uncommons. Bunch of back to back charms. We got the non foil gilded, unleash the inferno, and we got a Rafine's Tower box topper. Wow, double triumph, double Rafine, double absolute beautiful foil. Very cool. All right, guys, that's definitely liking the fact that we pulled two triumphs so far, guys. No mythics, though. What's going on with the mythics? I mean, this is just a, a quiet box. <laughs> you know, although Exquisite Blood, that's definitely a bomb in the list slot, I will say that. We got two golded, uh, gilded foils already. I believe those are gilded foils right here in the Obscura Charm and Rocco. Rocco was an uncommon. And whoa, what do we got here? Othome? Is this from Secret Lair? This has got to be Secret Lair. Othome is a Guardian Outcast, just because it's got the, the promo. I assume it's Secret Lair. Two star creature card in your graveyard that's put there, put there from the battlefield this turn. Return to the battlefield tap. Friends forever. Wow. So you see bringing stuff back. That's cool. We'll put that in the rare slot. Secret lair, I believe. It's a guardian outcast. Interesting. Friends forever. All right. Here we go, guys. Flying through this. Uncommons. We got our station. Got our charm. Ooh, we got the tenacious underdog followed by a foil cult cut the profits. Very cool. I feel like that's something wizards will never do. They'll never cut the profits. Keep on printing more and more sets, more power creep until until they break the game, which um, some may uh, may believe has already happened. Please check out my podcast. I'll be talking about that tomorrow, guys. Obscura Interceptor, damn, we got the Public Enemy Foil, and what is the list? I don't know, what is the list? One in every four set boosters, hand-picked Magic History. So far we've opened a little more than four set boosters, guys, and we have one list card, so that makes me wonder. I mean, maybe that was a list card there, that, that promo, I'm not sure. Maybe that counts as list, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Gilded, Gilded, Gilded. First Mythic, Zayatora the Incinerator, Demon Dragon. Very cool. Lots of treasure tokens. We'll take that. Definitely no Obnix list, but hey, we'll, uh, first Mythic nonetheless. 
one mythic, two gilded foils. Damn, I hope we get like a mythic gilded foil. Like that collector card, was it like Xander the collector or whatever? Or damn, look at these foil lands. Wow, absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, absolutely breathtaking right there, guys. Foil land. Okay, we got our uncommons. Okay, we got our charm, little charm action. Another cut the profits. And we got, not to be confused with the foil trium, regular foil. Common land. God, I can't believe I thought that one land was a trium. You know, I was just, I was, I was so excited, you know, guys. So excited to just pull some triumphs. Recoria was one of my favorite sets to crack just because those collector boxes and just seeing those triumphs come back just brings back some memories. Shadow of Mortality, 15. What the hell is this? If your life total is less than your starting life total, this spell costs X less to cast. Where X is the difference? Wow. Big guy. Shadow of Mortality. I wonder if he'll see some modern play. And a foil rare. Devish Valet. Trample Haste. Interesting. Trample Haste on a 1-3. Whenever a creature enters a battlefield under your control, double its power. Wow, okay. That could be fun. Doubling's always a powerful mechanic. Whatever. Oh, there we go. We got Bram. This guy actually signed it, man. It's pretty cool. Just kidding. He did not actually sign it, but that would be cool, though, right? Get our commons, uncommons. Come on, baby. More gilded foils. Damn, Falco Spara, Pact Weaver, Mythic number two. Bird Demon. Flying, trample. Enters the battlefield with a shield counter so you can regenerate. Look at the top card at any time. They cast spells by removing a counter from a creature you control in addition to paying their cost. Interesting. Eh, seems okay. Seems actually pretty good. I'm just kidding. Mythic. We got the gateway for double rare, foil, and we got another promo. This has got to be secret rare, guys. Definitely secret rare. What does this guy do? Bayorna Nightfall Alchemist. Sacrifice an artifact. He has one damage to any target. Goad that creature. Goad, 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 goad. Okay, so we'll keep there. I'm going to pull out actually the other one too. Um, we'll keep, I don't know if these count as lists or, or not, but we do pull two. We'll put them in the, the list pile, so to speak. All right, guys. Still got 12 packs or so to go here. So two Mythics so far. Um, two Triumphs, including one Extender, which is very nice. Um, extender Foil, nonetheless. Two golded, Gilded Foils. I guess we could pull some more Gilded Foils. That would be sweet. Um, we've yet to hit that, like, bomb pack, guys. Um, I mean, I've, my experiencing, experience in opening set packs, they're pull tabs, they're pull tabs, nice, um, is typically in one box, you'll get one just insane god pack. When I say god pack, you're like three to four rares, essentially, all in the same pack, maybe throw in a mythic there or two. Um, I remember opening up like a commander legends pack where it literally was like three rares, solve them as visions, three rares and a mythic it was oh god these gilded for okay i think this is the gilded version let's see let's do some comparisons here so this is regular foil and then this is gilded so god that is so awesome the difference man like this is cool so these are definitely not gilded foils and same with this charm these are just regular foils this for sure without a doubt is a gilded foil God, that looks so cool. It like pops out almost. Corpse Appraiser for our first Gilded Foil hit, guys. Apologies for confusing or leaving us some confusion on the prior Gilded Foil pulls. I was surprised that we had two in the first two packs, so that definitely is different. Way different, that version. Awesome. Okay, so we got our commons, guys. Fly through this. Uncommons. Okay, we got our regular common land. We got the Broker's Ascendancy, bringing back the Ascendancies. Shattered Sarah for our double rare, and that's it. All right, guys, officially two thirds of the way through here. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, come on, here we go. Come on, baby. Wrong side. God, 
absolutely loving these lands. I wish you get more of the foils. Remember, like for Rise, Zendikar Rising, and as in the list with the sets, the set uh, packs, you got a bunch of them. Kind of bummed that you don't. Okay, we got Giada, create those angels, and we got a foil suspicious bookcase. Interesting. All right, guys, last 10 packs here. Let's do this. Let's pull something incredible. So far, two Mythics, guys, and two Triumphs. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little disappointed on the Triumphs. I thought we would be getting a little bit more here, but maybe these last few packs will do me justice. Come on. You see, there's a lot of, you get a ton of Uncommons in these lists, in this, these set products. You know, I'm still a fan of the draft, just because I love draft and limited so much more. Um, that, I mean, it's just one of my play, like, favorite formats. Um, so I'm just get yeah, biased on drafts, but if you're just looking to like get a bunch, bunch of cards from the set, more value, definitely these these set boxes are the way to go. Like I'll sit on I sit on my draft boxes to sell long term. I just feel like they're going to be, especially if Wizards continues to phase out draft boxes. I just think that's great for like an investor. I think there's definitely going to be some some dividends being paid to those who invested in the draft versus the the list. Um, but, ooh, here we go. Remorseful Punishment. What is this? Target opponent loses five lives. So I have to play discards the cards. Sacrifice the creature. Planeswalker. Repeat this process. Interesting. Interesting. So, I guess that's a set card. I mean, a list card. Seems pretty cool. But, um, but yeah, it's just my take, guys. I mean, I, I still sit on some set boxes but um i just think that the draft boxes long term are gonna be the ones that are gonna oh here we go all seeing arbiter finally got another mythic mythic number three for the uh, the avatar and we got a botanical plaza for another foil land god it tricks me into thinking it's a triumph only two triumphs guys what the heck we need at least four let's get at least two more guys come on Come on, baby. Let's finish with a bang here. And also some foil lands would be sweet. I could throw them in some commander decks. Sort of bling out my commander decks. All right, here we go, guys. Another mythic Beamtown Bullies. Damn, that looks really cool. Not going to lie. No commander rare. And there we go. We got the Jun Triome. I ask, and they shall receive double. So we got double triumph or triple triumph so far. A little chat foil and that's it so we got six packs to go here guys rip that pull tab if we can end with another triumph or two that would be so sweet triumph city baby god definitely um, i'm probably not gonna open many more set boxes guys from this set maybe i'll do another one um but definitely some collector boxes guys we got some collector boxes on the way Spiteful repossession. Okay, this may be a bomb pack. One rare, two rare. Okay, incriminate foil. And we got a was this, another secret lair. Holy hell. Halgard, the kindly rune chanter. Add two mana friends forever. Very cool. Alright, so we got three rares. The I guess, secret lair or promo or whatever. And only two cards from Magic's history. So I guess uh, they're taking away cards from Magic's history and putting in Secret Lair. I guess they got to ship that Secret Lair product. So, not sure what the justification is on that. Hostile Takeover. Very cool. And we got the Jackhammer foil, and that's it. Four packs to go, guys. Come on, one more Triome. At least one or two more Mythics, man. We got three Mythics, one of which is... Freaking commander. There's got to be more mythics than this. Like, this is, I'm not gonna lie, I'm definitely depressed if these are all the mythics we get. Come on, baby. Another gilded foil, too. There we go. Double. Okay, another freaking Jun Triome. We'll take that. And another mythic. Halo Fountain. That's what I'm talking about. Very cool. One of the more expensive mythics in the set. We got the Halo Fountain. So. Very nice, and the mage's attendant, and that's it. Three packs to go. So I start complaining, guys. It's like I'd say, I want two more triumphs, they give me two more triumphs. I want more mythics, they give me more mythics. And we got the, damn, the 
Jenner or something. Very cool artwork. Foil. Oh, yeah. Commons. One commons fly through these guys. Come on, baby. We've got the crew captain. Cemetery tampering followed by a... Come on, make it another one. Okay, Obscura storefront. And we got a... Wow, Tezzeret's Betrayal. What is this? Kaladesh. Story target creature. You may search your library and your graveyard for a card named Tezzeret Master of Metal. Reveal it. Put it in your hand. Wow. So it's like a... Destroy a crit. Two for one, essentially. You get the draw card or you get your bomb. And at the same time, you also get destroy creatures. If it was entered the battlefield, now that would be sweet. But still gotta play it next turn. Maybe in a, a specific commander deck, that card would be decent. You know? Alright, guys. Last, second last pack here. Let's go out with a Gilded Foil. Kroos, Defense Contractor. I believe that's going to be our last Mythic, guys. We'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky here and we'll pull another one. But I think six is pretty much the limit. God, I want another Gilded Foil. Oh, I want a Gilded Foil so bad. Those are so... It's so sweet, this Corpse Appraiser. I cannot wait to crack the collector boxes just to see those Gilded Foils. Like, get like a Mythic Gilded Foil or something like that. That would be so awesome. All right, guys, here we go. I think I saw something spicy in the back by accident there. Well, let's see if we can end with a bang. Last pack to go here. Last pack to crack. Here we go. Come on, baby. Luck be the lady. Here we go. We got rare, one rare, number one right here. This could be the bomb pack. Two rares, River Tears Ascendancy. Okay, we got our foil. And this last card here is a promo. Habengul Laboratory. What does this thing do? Can investigate for four. At the beginning, you ran step. If you've sacrificed three or more clue tokens this turn, you can transform them to when this land transforms. Habengul Mystery. Return to a creature of grave to the battlefield. When the creature put into the battlefield is put in the, whenever, when the creature put onto the battlefield with Habengul Mystery leaves the battlefield, you can transform it as well. Wow, tap, pay one life, tap one mana. To transform it back. Very cool. All right. So in the end, guys, double ravines tower, doubles. That's us proven ground. So we got the Esper and the Jund, Triomes, three, 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 three land, tree land, whatever you want to call it. Um, so four Triomes out of this box. Uh, Exquisite Blood by far our big hit here. Um, a bunch of promos. Really only two, like three list cards. Um, they're all rare though, which makes me wonder. I mean, if if the list slot is this much more powerful, um, or there's more value in the list slot just in this set, I mean, maybe maybe I will buy some more um, set boxes. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, mythics. We ended up with what? Six mythics here. Six, seven, six mythics. Um, really cool. We got Halo Fountain, but aside from that, I don't think there's much like a ton of value here. Um, we didn't get Omnixilis, unfortunately. We didn't get Lord Xander, unfortunately. Got this absolutely gorgeous gilded foil, guys. This card is beautiful. Um, yeah, I can see why the price of these is is up. Um, and also, I'm sure like those the rares and the mythics in this format are just probably yeah probably pretty rare. In fact, I've only got one per box there. And yeah, a bunch of decent rares, guys. Um, I again, I haven't played a ton with the set aside from pre-release and a little bit on arena, so. Um, yeah, there may be some cards here that I missed that are just OP or have some value. I mean, Void Ren, I think, seems pretty cool to me. Destroying a permanent that can't be countered. Definitely a big fan of Vindicate growing up. Um, but yeah, guys, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, uh, we'll be doing a collector box opening. Um, i got a case of collector boxes coming, so probably open a couple of those. See more of these Gilded Foils. Hopefully get a bunch more Triumphs, too. Um, I like to be able to use those Triumphs in some Commander decks and so forth, so... I'm excited for that aspect. And you guys, as always, please like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. We will catch you soon for the next MTG content-related video. Take care, everyone.